the electronics of a V1 dex hand are mounted back here in this hollow section, which you can see on fresh prints. So when you're assembling the motors in the forearm, it's very important that all of the cables from the fingers are passed through the wrist and underneath and through that hole there before these servos get placed inside. Um, I will do a better video at some point, but someone is asking for the schematics, so I'm just going to give a quick overview now, and hopefully that's enough information to be getting on with. The board I recommend to use is an Arduino Mega. And the reason I use that board is because it has four serial ports on it. This is very useful if you want to be able to attach other systems like a radio control system. And also the XB wireless link, which is the one I use to connect to a computer. So the XB will in fact fit in just down there. This is the TTL linker, which is supplied by Fitec, And you need that only if you're running serial style servos in the wrist, which I am on this hand. So for greater range of movement control, these are serial style servos. But you could use a normal servo here and you could use a normal servo for the two wrist motors. There's one here, there's one down there. You just get slightly less range of motion at the wrist. Okay, but the electronics. So on the Mega, you can select the pins and I'll post the Arduino code, so you'll have to check those for the numbers. But the pins, the PWM outputs, which go down to all of the servos, the standard Emacs servos, they simply solder into outputs down here. And there's going to have to be 16 of those, or if you're using normal servos, 19. Normal servos of a wrist would be 19. So they solder on here and here. In addition, there are power connections which will bring voltage in and supply voltage out. It's 3.3 to the XB if you're connecting to a PC over wireless. But this is a DC-DC converter. So battery voltage comes up here. There's a battery goes down there and a battery goes down there, or you can run it off. The power supply, this will output 6 volts. 6 volts will go up into the Arduino and will also go directly through the servo wires off to all the servos. Signal wires come in, 16 of them will solder onto output ports here, which specified in the Arduino code. And then the input to drive the whole system is serial connection. And that can either be S bus. The S bus needs a little transistor inverting circuit. And that goes off into the Arduino, or you can get serial straight out of the XB. And that just goes straight in. That will give you a signal in, and the output will be that the fingers move. This one probably still works, but I haven't tried it for a while. When the new one is assembled, I'll do a better video and a proper test. Hope that helps for now.